And the gun that he had is actually just a replica. It's a Stormtrooper blaster that he bought online. Now, bulk solids are just flowable, dry materials like plastic pellets, coffee beans, and flour. Students and researchers will be looking into how these items flow. This is where the superintendent's office is. Dr. Steve Noble says he was in on Saturday morning working, and it's only about 30 feet away from the office where the bullet entered the building. It's Monday now, and I'm here at the reservoir, and if you look behind me, you can't actually see any algae in the water. However, park rangers say that just because you can't see it, it doesn't mean it's safe. Turner's about my height, standing at around five and a half feet. But to give you guys a better idea of just how high she propels herself into the air, her best pole vault of the season, which was also a PR, was 11 and a half feet. Police say if there isn't a sidewalk like here on Tulane Avenue, scooters are allowed to drive on the road. Now the Donnellys say they've taken some extra precautions to make sure that these new signs stay put. Walking alongside the highway isn't always a pleasant experience. There's the heat, bugs, trucks, and cars, but one man and his pet goat have decided to walk all the way from Seattle to New York for a charity. I certainly didn't intend to offend anyone, and I certainly, I sent, I apologize for making the mistake and fully recognize what I said was wrong. The mistake that County Commissioner Jim Guile made using a racial slur in a previous County Commission meeting. He was talking about repairing a roof when he said, Guile claims this is not a word that is usually in his vocabulary. I don't use it at all. It was just one of those things that it, it, was, it was there, and I don't know why it came out. Because he's not that kind of a guy, and we know that. Some members of the community say the apology just isn't enough, and they're calling for more drastic action. I'd like him to resign. That's how he can earn my respect and the respect of uh, my peers. Uh, my peers of every color. Christina Humphrey spoke at Tuesday's meeting, revealing she voted for Guile. She talked about her disappointment. Recently, Commissioner Guile used the most horrible word in the English language. I never use that word because it tells of a time of hatred and ugliness in our nation, and it truly hurts my heart. When you drive into Marion, one of the first things you see is the 9-11 Memorial Mural. But for the past few years, the stars and stripes weren't shining so bright. Old and wore out and it looked a hundred years old like the building did, like the building is there's little swooshes in here that's where joy waldbauer comes in she her sister and niece are brightening up the old mural for free and i volunteered to paint it because my son was in iraq and i figured the boys went over for us it's time for us to take care of our boys andrew probably wouldn't have gone to war if he hadn't been so serious about 9 11 because he was in high school when that happened as she drags her brush across the wall, her own memories mix with the paint. I think about the time that my son was over there and how hard that was. And I thought it would be easy, but it wasn't. But she carries on all of the lines because it'll help people remember long after the paint dries. I'm really excited that I can do this and be a part of history is what this is. This is a part of history that's going to live on. All of a sudden, a little girl came running in, and uh, she was quite obviously distraught. She was yelling for us to help her and that her friend had been shocked. Amanda and I both jumped up and ran. What employees at Salina Running Company saw was a young girl face down in water. Vanessa Hall called police while Amanda Weizar tried to move the girl. She got shocked, so she ran back, and while I was on the phone with 911, she grabbed a broom and was able to flip the girl over with the broom um, and at least got her face up so that she wouldn't drown. The women gave dry clothes to the other four children and tried to calm them down. The one little guy who was in shock, he was just quiet. The other ones were all kind of going in and out from just talking a mile a minute to try to process what had happened to crying to screaming. Um, it all happened really fast and kind of in slow-mo at the same time. 
The fire marshal says the girl was on this electric outlet box, which is used for concerts at the plaza and powering nearby street lights. At this point, they're not sure what happened. We are still trying to uh, review exactly what happened to determine exactly how the, the shock did occur. The incident hits close to home for some. No lightning, we're going to go walk around and splash around and do that kind of thing. Yeah. It makes you think about where you're going to do that now. It was a rough night for us, but I can't imagine what the family's going through.